Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my quickest and easiest go-to makeup look. Like I have been doing this for the past couple of weeks and hands down this is the easiest makeup tutorial I can give you but you will come out of it looking glowy, dewy, done up, beautiful and it's so easy and it's so fast it can become part of your daily routine. For those people who want to look like they put effort into their day but also don't want to be in front of their vanity or their mirror for an hour and a half. So before we get started if you're new here hi I'm Jamie B. Welcome to my part of YouTube my little beautiful corner and community of YouTube. We have a lot of fun on this channel talking about everything from beauty, hair, makeup, clothing, hauls, all the fun stuff that you could think of beauty related without all of the drama and negativity at all. So if you're not already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button for me. Make sure you hit the bell notification so you can be notified when I do upload my videos. And without further ado, let's get into the video. I'm going to put everything I use down below. So that way, if I forget to tell you what I'm using, you know what it is, but I'm going to tell you the steps. So just peep the description for that. So the first thing I do is I'm going to go into my moisturizer and just put that on my face and then my sunscreen as well. Make sure you're doing your skincare because your makeup's only gonna look as good as your skin looks. I've gotten a lot of new makeup lately and it seems like it's a lot of like cream blush, cream bronzer, just very dewy and like natural makeup products and I was just like you know what let me just try something and I tried it and I was like key. This is it. So I think that the longest part of this makeup tutorial is going to be my brows. So I'm going to kind of briefly tell you and show you what I'm using for my brow, but then I'll hop off camera and finish it because those do take the longest. You can do several options. One, you can just not do your brows because it is like a no makeup dewy look. It's not full glam. Two, just kind of feather it. Or three, pencil a little bit to fill it for to your liking. But sometimes I'll just leave them like this and put a little gel in it and call it a day. I go in with the got to be glued invisible all, this is the ultra glued invisible styling gel and I just put a little dab on my hand I don't even need that much but I like to have like enough and then I go in with this <laughs> I got this from Amazon. This is actually a baby hair or edge brush and comb. And I was just like, so I have really curly hair and I try to get my edges not to look crazy. Like I don't lay them. I just get them not to look crazy. And I was like, I wonder if like I use this for my brows, will it work? Because you know how you have to like flatten them as you're like feathering them. And ABH came out with a tool that helps you do that. It's like a double ended tool. And then you can go like this. Well, this does it for you because it's a flat edge brush. So I absolutely love it. And because it's so, the bristles are so close together it will literally lay them down like you would not believe and the key to using this gel as a primer or brow gel if you will or like whatever you want to call it soap brows I don't know if you want to use this like that the key is you have to let it dry before you do the rest of your brows so the next thing I like to go into after my moisturizer is the uh, glow recipe niacinamide dew drops this is just going to give me a little bit more of a glowy look and I put it on my cheeks and like here and my forehead I do avoid around my mouth because I have eczema there and very sensitive skin and sometimes this product can really dry my skin out I feel like then you can go into a primer I go into a primer just because this is a very hydrating one and I have dry skin so I like my skin to look as dewy and wonderful as possible but you can skip this step because we're not even doing foundation <laughs> so this is for me just like extra glow and then the next thing I go into another skin thing is going to be my Jaclyn Cosmetics under eye primer when I tell you that my main goal with this look is just to look as fresh as possible that's what I mean like we want to look fresh we don't want to take long we want to be out the door like this if I'm not filming obviously it takes me longer so I can make sure everything is the way it needs to be and like talking to you guys and explaining but when I'm doing this like off camera in my normal Normal everyday life it takes me at most five minutes I love this stuff it's on my favorites video this under eye primer is to die for so now that we've given the brows time to dry I'm gonna go in and I go in with just a brow pen one of those flick pens ABH has one I have that one too this is the NYX one I've actually been really liking this lately and I will literally just flick more hairs to just fill it in like I don't do anything crazy with my brows when I do this honestly I just try to leave them as natural as possible so they look they go well with the look so then I go in with my ABH define brow or brow definer and I literally just color 
right at the edges and then like literally it just looks like a foofy brow all right so the next thing i go into is my face product so like i said i don't use any foundation for this this is the glow lust by art cosmetic and this i have learned less is more so i go one pump two pumps very little and i just dab it all around my face and if you want more coverage but still have that like little to no makeup look then go ahead and get the Fenty Beauty skin drops the ease drops or whatever that's gonna give you a little bit more coverage than this will because this isn't gonna give you a lot of coverage this is just gonna make your skin look really fresh and dewy and then do that but I don't really like too much coverage when I'm doing this kind of look I just like an easy glowy look mm -hmm. I go into a cream bronzer and this is the makeup by Mario soft sculpt stick and I will just put where I want my bronzer to be. I don't do like super, super a lot just because like I'm just fresh. It's fresh. I keep saying that over and over. So then I just blend it out with the same beauty blender. I usually use one beauty blender for this whole thing. I need bronzer. I have to have a little sun kissed moment. And then I'll take a little leftover of the bronzer and just put it on my nose to give it a little bit of color too. So the next step is going to be blush and I am using the Jaclyn Cosmetics in Overruled and I just put some like that. Literally everything is like cream products because it's easy it's quick and it's just so beautiful on the skin so i do recommend doing this with cream products it doesn't have to be the cream products i used like i know pixie beauty has cream blushes that are a little bit more uh, less expensive than the jacqueline ones and those look, work really nice too like i use them all the time and then there's other cream bronzers like especially now everything is about cream and all that so if that's something you're looking for just look around but you can really use anything as long as it's cream based is basically what I'm saying because you don't want to go and try to do this dewy look and put like a crap ton of powder on your face so the next step to this is going to be my highlighter and I'm using a cream highlighter this is just the Kendall and Kylie highlight stick you can use any cream highlighter you have I don't think I actually have very much cream highlighter and I blend that into my blush on my cheeks as well to just give my face even more of a dewy glowy look see my cheeks oh they look so glowy and dewy and i'll bring just a little bit up here to the forehead so the next is eyeshadow and you're probably like jamie how do you even do eyeshadow within five minutes this this is the candy skies palette by laura lee los angeles i have done a review on it i'll put it right here but literally this is my go-to palette when i want to do these quick easy looks it's n like i'm not even kidding I, I use my fingers i'm gonna show you so i think the colors i'm gonna go into today are going to be roasted caramel and sunset on the lid so what i do is i go into the darker shade on my finger you can use a brush if you want to and i literally just start to put that in my crease and blend it up i don't even use eyeshadow primer like that's how serious I am like that's how quick this is and again if you want to use a brush you totally can it will work just fine so while we're still in that same roasted caramel I'm literally going to take it on the finger again and just put it on my lower lid again just doing it with my finger easy peasy lemon squeezy now I'm going to go in with that sunset it's the shimmer orange and I'm going to put that all over my lid and I'm going to bring it into my crease just a little bit if you don't have this palette I'm going to tell you how to do it with your own palette you're going to go into a matte color I usually like to do like summery colors during the summer etc but you can do whatever so you go in with any matte color that you want to do that you're liking put that all over your lid find a matching shimmer or one that goes with it and then put that all over your lid it just looks so vibrant now I'm going to go in with that same color on my pinky and just try to put a little more in this inner corner just to give it more of a pop so obviously we're gonna go into mascara to bring those lashes out obviously you can use fake lashes like if that's your thing but I when I'm doing these looks do not like to use falsies even if they're just really really demi wispy falsies I just don't like to use them because I just want like I said a more natural look and lashes are gonna add time on to my makeup look and we're trying to hurry up okay so the second to last part of this look is going to be a lip balm lip gloss you can do a matte liquid lipstick you can do a full bold lipstick if you want but what I do is either the milk makeup um, kush lip balm a lip gloss or what I'm about to show you which is the lipstick queen this is the frog one right yeah frog prints literally it's so moisturizing I know it looks scary because it's green but it turns your lips pink it just gives you more of a pink look than your lips are like it's not gonna go like hot pink or anything and it's really moisturizing and then like that's it like it there's no lipstick to it so you're not worried throughout the day like oh my god is it transferring like oh my god 
no it comes off clear is what i'm saying like it's so nice and then the last thing i like to do because i'm trying to hurry up to make it quick is a dewy setting spray max fix plus pixie glow mist uh the abh dewy set is the one i'm using anything that's gonna really liven that skin and give it more of a dewy look that's what we're looking for but that is it guys i know that it, this video was a little bit longer than five to ten minutes but i promise you once you do this a couple of times and you really get into the swing of it this is my go to look and I look like I actually am like trying to present myself trying to you know put myself together but it takes five minutes I actually hold my everyday products like this in a container so I can literally just take the container sit in my mirror do it and be done with it a lot of these products make it effortless basically like the creams make it blendable and easy and dewy and you just look so fresh lip balms lip glosses those are going to give you more of a natural supple beautiful look and then a palette like this like i said if you don't have this one that's totally fine find you a palette that has a lot of matte colors and a lot of matching shimmers so like purple matte purple shimmer kind of situation that way you can do this and be out the door but i hope this was easy for you guys i hope you enjoyed it let me know about your thoughts in the comments about this look what are we thinking is it easy do you think it's going to take you five minutes do you think it's going to take you longer if you do try this routine please let me know again it doesn't have to be the products i use just similar formulas and just let me know like did it work for you was it quick did you like it and as always if you like this video please give it a thumbs up for me i would appreciate it so freaking much you're so awesome for staying to the end and watching this and as always i will see you on the next one bye